Hey guys, I'm Matt Pittman of Meat Church here at our flagship barbecue supply shop in Waxahachie, Texas. So our Texas chili seasoning has been super popular with you guys, and a lot of you have been making our Texas chili recipe off meatchurch.com, and you've been asking me for a video. So here it is, Texas chili. This recipe is what I would call really approachable. This is store-bought ingredients plus our chili seasoning, which is gonna make it really easy for any of you guys to make. It's really good too. I won an office cook-off with like three contestants with it once, so it's you know award-winning. Anyway, let's talk about the ingredients. So a key here, you've gotta go with three pounds of ground meat. Today we're using two pounds of ground beef and we've got one pound of hot breakfast sausage. I love to use venison as well, but this is really easy for you guys to pick up at the store if you don't have venison. Major key, I want a big hearty meat in this chili. So I'm going with a two pound chuck roast that I smoked previously. You could also use brisket or anything else you want. We're gonna dice this up and as this simmers all day in the chili, it's gonna break down and make that chili just really, really hearty and give you a really good bite. Here we've diced three medium red onions as well as a head of garlic and we used one can of chipotle peppers and adobo. I minced those up dumped those in, including all of the juice and a little bit of olive oil, and I sauteed that down in a skillet and we've got that ready to go in. So let's talk about the tomatoes. We've got two 28 ounce cans of crushed tomatoes. I like to go with the Italian variety, so there's basil in these, you guys can use whatever you want. And then 28 ounces total of diced tomatoes, and of course I went with fire roasted. Again, use whatever kind you want. And obviously, our Texas chili seasoning. Our recipe calls for six tablespoons in this. If you want to take down the heat a little, you can add a little bit less. If you want to kick up the heat even more, add a little bit of cayenne. But six is a good number that a lot of people love the taste of. All right, let's put this together. Start out with our ground meat. You're gonna need a big old Dutch oven. This is a seven quart Dutch oven. This makes a huge batch. Got our onion mixture. Let's cut up some chuck roast. All right, in we go. Those pieces are just gonna fall apart as this simmers all day. All right, in we go with the tomatoes. six tablespoons of our chili seasoning. Let's mix it all up. Once we get it nice and mixed, I like to top it with a beer. Recipe calls for two beers. You might be asking yourself why. Mix that up. Okay, 
some of y'all might be asking, where's the beans? I prefer team meat myself. For those of you, this is Texas. But let's just go ahead and put a nice, pretty jalapeno right in there. And let's take this out to the smoker. So I'm going to simmer this all day in my smoker. I'm going to put it in a Traeger at 225 degrees. You could simmer this any way you want. You could even put it in a crock pot. I just wouldn't tell your friends you did it that way. But we're going to try to simmer this for, you know, six to eight hours. And come supper time, it's going to be time to eat. As you guys can see, a little change of scenery here for this video. Normally we're cooking in the outdoor kitchen, but we're gonna let this chili simmer all day while we're at work here at our barbecue supply shop. So all these ingredients are already cooked. We're gonna simmer this all day to let the flavors develop and meld together and that meat to break down. So it needs to cook for about six to eight hours. We're growing on a Traeger here at 225 degrees. Uh, you could cook this on anything you want. You could put it in a smoker. Uh, you could put it in a crock pot, you could simmer it on a stove top with a Dutch oven, whatever you want to do. But we're going to run it 225 for five to six hours uncovered, stirring it every hour or so. And then we're going to cover it for like the last couple hours, and this is going to be time to eat. This chili's been cooking for, woo, man, looks good. Been cooking for a couple hours as you can see. So I just want to give it a stir every hour or so. Man, that's looking good. You can tell by stirring it's already getting more tender. Smelling amazing. All right, we'll be back. All right, our chili's been cooking for about seven hours. I put the lid on it in the last hour or so. That's not all that key. It could stay open the entire time because I want smoke to penetrate that chili, but I put it on here at the end. So it's time to go inside and eat. Man, this is a huge batch of chili. This is gonna feed a ton of people and it smells awesome. Now you can really smell uh, the chili seasoning in there. Everything we put in it smells epic. Normally we would dress this up with cheddar cheese, onions. I like sour cream in mine, you know, however you want to do it. Um, and like they always say, chili's better the second day. So I'm never mad when I have leftovers because I'll put this in the fridge and eat on it the rest of the week. But I want to show you guys something. So, you know, I was kind of joking earlier with you bean folks. If you like to put beans in it, that's just fine. Put whatever beans in this you like. I like the big chunks of meat. So that's the chuck roast that we smoked and put in. It simmered all day. You could gum this. It's going to be so tender. Um, so that's just my preference. I can't wait any longer. Probably not a smart idea to eat it this quick, but I'm going to anyway. Meat, so tender. And it's hot. Woo, but it's good. Real good. Man, if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. We're just trying to inspire you guys to get out and cook something. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.